Hello Taurus. Welcome to another love reading. This one's going to be all about the person that you are thinking about or connecting with at this time. What are their true feelings, thoughts, intentions towards you? What do you need to know about them? Keep in mind that these readings are meant to be general, so they will not resonate with every Taurus watching and not every Taurus reading will be for you. All right, Taurus, let's see. Messages for Taurus. Let's look at what's going on in your connection. You'll know pretty soon if this is your reading. What's going on in this connection between Taurus and this other person? Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Okay, what else do we need to know? about what's going on in this connection. Calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visual, visual, I can never say that word, visualizations help bring you together. So I feel like um, whatever manifestation is happening here where you're calling in a soulmate, and this could be you calling them them calling you i feel like there's some sort of forgiveness that needs to take place some sort of releasing and healing of the past bottom of the deck i have romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring so let's see what this is all about let's get some more information for taurus please regarding love What do we need to know regarding this connection? What do we need to know, Spirit, regarding this connection? Let's see what messages we get for you, Taurus. Four of Swords. Five of Coin Reverse. So this, I feel, is someone wanting to come back in out of the cold. Maybe there hasn't been a lot of communication at this time, or there's um, a distance here. Someone's checked out, or the communication is cut off. Someone was left out in the cold and wants back in, wants to have some sort of a recovery. Let's see. Nine of Swords, Reverse. So this is someone overcoming their fear, seeing a way out. Have the world at the bottom. I feel like this is someone that maybe is thinking, reflecting on the past and wanting to have some sort of a recovery here. Now let's clarify because sometimes the five of coin reverse can mean that someone is still struggling and it's gotten to like an extent it's like it's it's an extreme i guess is what i wanted to say there help me clarify these messages please for taurus tell me about the four of swords king of swords reverse empress five of coin at the bottom so yeah this is what happened Someone here is thinking about what happened, what what had, what led to the to them being left out in the cold. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time speaking, but it's like they're thinking of an empress energy, and with the King of Swords reverse, they did something or said something. Um, maybe they were deceptive, or the communication was terrible. Um, and it led to being left out in the cold. Maybe someone blocked the, the other person. Can I get one more for this four of swords? I feel like someone's thinking about this. They're not taking action, but they're thinking about what happened. Tell me more about this four of swords. Ten of pentacles reverse. There could have been a big loss here. Financial instability, a broken commitment. A family situation gone wrong. Why is the five of coin reverse? 
for Taurus. Queen of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. This could be you. You could also be this Empress. Ten of Cups. So this is definitely about a recovery of some sort. It's like they want to recover this. A Queen of Pentacles and a Ten of Cups. Emotional fulfillment, happy family, uh, happiness, joy, celebration, a stable partner, a loyal partner, a partner that gives is generous. The Queen of Pentacles is a generous partner. And Taurus is definitely very giving, very steadfast sign. Tell me about the five of coin reverse, please. Nine of wands reversed. And then we got the eight of coin at the bottom. So I feel like this is someone, you know what I'm seeing? I'm seeing someone that's refusing to give up even when it feels or seems like it's already done like a stubborn person that's what i'm picking up from this energy the, the energy that, that i'm getting from this card right now is someone who is refusing to give up but in a stubborn way you know they're, they're working on something that i feel it's almost like it, it, it's going against the grain here maybe you are completely done with this person um, maybe you wrote this person off or something like that and it's almost like um, I don't know like someone's really gonna try why is the nine of swords reverse why is the nine of swords reverse yeah they're gonna take a risk they're not scared to take a risk they're not scared to to try they're not scared to give this a shot yeah, because they're going to recover what they've lost with the Five of Cups reverse. This person is going to do what it takes to restore balance, justice. Okay, so that's pretty clear message. So let's see, I'm going to use my Stellar Energy Oracle deck. You can get this deck in my shop if you are interested. It's a deck that you can print at home. So it's very affordable. I love using it. I'm thinking about making this into a physical deck. We'll see. But let's see how you feel about each other. Tell me about Taurus and what energies Taurus is bringing to this connection. What energy is Taurus bringing to this connection? Patiently waiting, divine timing, patience, trust. Be patient. What you desire will be given at the right time. This one kind of wanted to come out. What's this love letter? Message, truth, confession. So I feel like you're waiting for a message. You're waiting for possibly an apology here, Taurus. Tell me about the person that Taurus is dealing with. Tell me about the person that Taurus is dealing with. What are their energies? Free spirit, independent spiritual open mind. A free spirit is open to life's challenges with an open heart and an open mind. Yeah, this is someone that I feel like is up for the challenge is what I'm feeling here. Make some room here because I'm going to clarify these. What's this? Reach out. Yeah. This person could reach out to you. Yeah. And reveal their hidden feelings here towards you or open up about whatever this Four of Swords is. So let's get some more information. Now, Taurus, I have you on this side and I have your person on the other, but feel free to flip them if it resonates more because the energy could be flipped. Tell me more, Spirit, for Taurus regarding this connection. Tell me more. Tell me about how Taurus is thinking or feeling towards this other person or this connection at this time. Okay. Tell me how Taurus is thinking or feeling. Ten of coin reverse. Got it again. 
feel like you experience a loss here. Lack of stability. Wow, judgment. Taurus, you could be wanting a second chance. Temperance at the bottom. Sagittarius energy. Magician reversed. Maybe you're waiting for the right time to manifest something. Being patient, wanting things to come together. Maybe you are looking at the past, at how things went down. Trusting that what is meant for you will come. Can't wait to clarify that. Okay, so tell me about this person that Taurus is dealing with. Tell me about this person's energies towards Taurus or this connection. Tell me about this person's energies towards Taurus or this connection. Eight of Cups. Three of Coin Reverse. This person is going to walk towards their their emotional fulfillment, their Nine of Cups. But with Three of Coin Reverse, this is someone that's not putting in enough effort. Even though they were going to work on this, so this could be that there's some could be there's an interference here with the three of coin reverse or something's not working out for your person yeah justice reverse so them wanting to make things right doesn't mean that's exactly how it's going to go down so let's clarify and see what the heck is going on here if this is resonating for you so far taurus leave me a comment down below tell me how it's resonating for you i love hearing from the people that watch my readings how the stories resonate and um it kind of helps me too like i feel like i'm not just talking to an empty room <laughs> um so yeah i appreciate everyone that shares and even leaves the smallest kind to comment thank you so much for that all right let's get into this why is the ten of coin reverse why is the ten of coin reverse what can you tell me about this Seven of Wands reverse. Interesting. I'm getting that you're like ready to give up. You don't want to fight anymore. Uh, you don't want to think that it's it's it, it's it, it's almost like whatever loss this was whatever didn't take place here yeah you're thinking well maybe it just wasn't meant for us to to have this or something like that but i feel like deep down you still are imagining this person or thinking of this person in some way and it could really be towards that you're over this person like it could be that you froze this person out and for you, you're thinking of having a second chance somewhere else of waiting for someone that's worth free, worth it, worth your time. Tell me more about this Ten of Coin reverse for Taurus, please. Now keep in mind, this will not resonate 100% for everyone. Yeah, this was this has been over for you. You're ready to move on. You are ready to move on. And I feel like that's freaking this person out. I feel like you gave to this and maybe it just wasn't enough and you packed, like you were just like done. Let's see, tell me about the judgment. Tell me about judgment page of swords this could be some sort of talk maybe you're watching this person or they're watching you this could be a judgment call a serious conversation that you have with someone this other person six of wands oh okay hold on give me one more for judgment
have one more for judgment, please. Eight of Swords. You know what I'm seeing? I'm seeing like you were done with this and someone, this person possibly, ask for forgiveness, talks to you, and you like imagine success, but you're scared because you already know how this ended once. Interesting. I have the Emperor Reverse, Two of Pentacles at the bottom. Aries energy with the Emperor Reverse. A back and forth, a choice needing to be made. But the Emperor Reverse is someone who, um, it's difficult, they feel powerless, they feel like they have lost control over situation. They could be a little bit like dominant, controlling. It's almost like you're scared because it you know that you cannot control how this ends up. Something like that is what I'm picking up here. Okay, let's see. What about your person? Tell me about the Eight of Cups. What's this about? Yeah, this person is walking towards what they feel is their happiness. That's way too many. What else can you tell me about this Eight of Cups? What? They could be walking away from a third party interference. So I have two threes reverse here. What else can you tell me for this Eight of Cups? Yeah, they're moving fast. Yeah, they might be delayed or they might be returning to you. I feel like they're returning to you because the chariot is not, they're not stopped in, in any way. Three of coin at the bottom. It's like this person is leaving a third party for you or you are the third part, the third party. Yeah, this is someone that loves you. Like they're, they're, they're wanting to be with you. It feels like here. What is this three of coin reverse? Why is the three of coin reverse? Three of wands reverse. I keep getting the threes reverse. The star Aquarius energy. They really want to heal this. Excuse me. And it's like they're impatient to, to like heal this or get make this happen. Yeah. Yes. They, they are manifesting this bad. Like, this is what they want. They're going to do whatever it takes. They're coming in hot to someone that they feel is, like, worth it. Okay. So, it looks like this person's coming towards you, Taurus. Uh, and I feel like it's going to be your call. I feel like it's going to be your call here. Like, it's going to be up to you whether this moves forward or not, which is kind of a similar reading that I've gotten for you in the previous couple weeks. So let's see, what are they secretly thinking or feeling? I'm using my Secret Moon Oracle deck. Um, by the time this video goes up, this might be already available in my Etsy shop. Hopefully. Um, just check my Etsy shop. It's linked down below to see if this is ready. Unfortunately, it's not up to me. I'm waiting for a certain shipment, so we'll see. What are they secretly thinking about you, Taurus? What are they secretly thinking or feeling about Taurus? I feel trapped. What are they secretly thinking or feeling about you, Taurus? That's way too many. I'm ready to open up. I'm 
I'm ready to commit. Okay. I wonder if you believe that. <laughs> I just, that's what, the, that's what I was hearing. It's like, I wonder if you believe that. So what's the 411? What do we need to know? What, is, what do we need to know about this connection? What are the challenges or hidden factors? What do we need to know, Spirit, about this connection between Taurus and this other person? What do we need to know? Knight of Cups, Death Reverse, Scorpio Energy with the Death card. What do we need to know about this connection? What's the 411 here? The Emperor's Reverse. I feel like that is some sort of block here. The Emperor's Reverse. Yeah, oh, okay. The Lover's Reverse, Gemini Energy. This is a, a regret over a choice. I feel like someone regrets... I want to have the High Priestess Reverse and the Emperor Reverse. I feel like someone regrets this choice, this partnership. What's this Knight of Cups about? This could be an apology or an expression of love. Four of Wands. This person wants it all with you. Yeah, they're coming in to see you, is what I'm seeing here. They're coming to see you. They've left something behind in order to see you or in order to make you this offer. And they've overcome their fear to communicate with the Nine of Swords reverse and the Eight of Wands, or they're overcoming fear to move forward or to make a move here. But with Death Reverse, this is someone that's resisting an ending or an ending or change that is delayed or blocked. Yeah, this is communication. Tell me more about the Death card. Reverse. Queen of Wands reverse, Ace of Wands reverse. Yeah. So I feel like something's going to be uh, delayed in terms of um, action. I feel like communication is almost a sure thing here for the Tauruses that I'm talking to. This person's ready to talk to you. And it's almost like maybe they're coming from along, like from afar or coming to see you, like driving up to your house to talk to you and to tell you like they're very serious about you. They made a mistake. More about this Empress Reverse. But I don't think that they'll be able to actually make moves, like serious moves here. Like I see them talking, but I don't see them like manifesting or taking action. Whatever mistake this was, whatever choice this person made, yeah, that they're now trying to break free from, whatever this is, I feel like you were very disappointed or heartbroken or this person is like emotionally, you, you, someone here is not dealing well with this emotionally. You have a lot of major arcanas. Capricorn, Pisces, Gemini. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Libra. We really want to go there. Um, I feel like this is some something where like someone's bad choice really hurt a lot of people. I'm also seeing that this person breaking free from an attachment is probably a surprise or something unexpected with the moon reverse or a secret that comes to light. So I feel like what you need to know is that they're coming. <laughs> they want to talk. You know, they feel trapped. They want to, they're opening up to you. They want to break free. They want to come see you and talk. And I feel like some of you Tauruses or Taurians, you know, you know what I mean? Some of you are just not, not here for it. I am just feeling that. So what is the potential outcome? So I'm going to pull some cards here in this video talk about the outcome and then I'll take it to the extended where I'll clarify further the outcome and then we'll look at their true intentions and possible next actions and then we'll wrap it up with some advice from spirit so this is resonating for you you want to get more info then check out the extended the link is in the description box
below this video. Okay, four Taurus. Four Taurus. What is the potential outcome for this connection in the near future? Eight of Swords Reverse. Someone's breaking free of fear. Three of Cups Reverse. Wow, again with the threes reverse. I swear. <laughs> I think I'm going to rename my channel the Three of Cups channel because everybody that's watching my videos has some sort of interference. Ooh, the Fool. This is exciting. An opportunity, something new in the midst of this mess. <laughs> Bottom of the deck, I have the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, Five of Wands reverse, someone that wants the fighting to be over, someone that wants to take a risk here, confidently wants to express their desire for you, a go-getter, fiery energy there. 